time these two sides met. Papua New Guinea won by 50 points to six in Port Moresby five years ago in 35 degrees of heat and 98% humidity. Have a well. And this is the last outing for them. They're just going to do the basics well. Rain is going to help out Wales at this point in time. It's going to slow the game down a little bit. I think Papua New Guinea have just gone from the only possession. Lachlan Lamb shifting it out to this left-hand side, Justin Erland. Yeah, just one of the star players in there, the Melbourne Storm centre tonight, Justin Erland. Back towards Lamb, who will be playing in Super League next year, of course, with the Lee Leopards. Emmanuel Wayne drives it in. And a championship player of the year, Papi. He's got real zip out of dummy yeah, half, and he's got a ball back here as well from the offload from Albert. The Welsh defence is under pressure right from the start. Find themselves a good platform to get the at Rugby League World Cup 2021, despite the fact that it's 2022. Should have been last year, of course, but for the dreaded. Testing that Welsh defence. Ipape wants a quick one. Back on the inside for Albert. Albert posts it left. Lamb now throws it wide to Olam. Olam with a step back on the inside. Bouncing off defenders. What a putting offload that was. And just keeping it alive. The Welsh had to do well to recover there. They're under pressure. On their own line. Ipape again. Ipape! Sees a gap. Goes for it. Just about a foot short of where he wants to be. Albert now. Here's Labour. Labour. He's going to go on the outside. And he's going to score. Going to need to put the foot down and take the line off. What an offload that is. You know, another offload. Take a bit of time to organise defence. and Just a, a mismatch. You know, just the outside man, I think, always gets up too early. It creates the gap on the side of uh, Antibus. And a good halfback always takes that. Just a natural gap opened up. And that's one of the benefits of having a player like Reece Martin outside you. You know the defenders are going to have to deal with him. You switch off for one second, you get upstream. Like you get off the line too much, and you open the door. There's a lot of rocks and hard places in that Papua New Guinea side oh, as well, isn't there? Boulders. They do hit. Here's Martin. Steps back. A prodigious goal. Yeah. Slighted. Reese Martin with that initial carry. Oh, the Papi at dummy half. Now Wellington Albert. And Albert tearing a bit of a far from the line. That spells danger. The danger siren for the Welsh defence because Papua New Guinea... I've just got a moment to camp there with plenty of tackles in the bag. Back it comes for Laban. Driven in hard by Wayne, Emmanuel Wayne. Three Welsh defences that are dancing around him. This is Ipapi. Ipapi, Lamb, Lamb, short pass. Nixon put the second row up, dragged to the ground. Wales defenders scrambling around at the moment. Ipape will try a bit of more magic here. Throwing it out. Back to Alec again. Alec just robust and challenging, but Wales hanging on. Last tackle. Last tackle. Can Wales survive here? Ipape goes left the reach for the line. And Nixon puts. Missing there. They're choosing to hit the lead runner. Every single he's had a wow of a of a of a tournament powerful squad player he's low to the ground very powerful and unless you get in front of him it's just a mismatch yeah a mismatch i think he's on the half back there just runs over the top of him but unfortunately for wales under pressure but they're getting quick play the balls in power png are you know reset on halfway line reset under the force they just can't do it too big too strong on that occasion but a great a great it's in these kind of conditions many many times in his Leeds Rhinos career. This won't be a problem. A rock back. A focus on the ball. And a sweet sweep of the ball. The ball. Yeah, they need a big round of dominating the tackle. At the moment, they're lying on top of the player. The player's on his front. And that's giving the back-to-back -back set. But they need to somehow turn him on. Beat the 68 nil in Swansea, mind, but this is nice. Good revenge. <laughs> Good revenge. Okay. No need to be scared. It was that, it is, no that weather scared. again. <laughs> to, to go there, it's just an experience. Papua New Guinea, it is absolute madness. You know, the support that this national side has is ridiculous. But the most in, intimidating oh. place I think I've ever played. It's, it's like a beautiful uh, normal wear for Doncaster on a wet Monday night, I tell you. Halloween. 64% possession for PNG so far.
Reflected in a scoreline, 12 points to nil. They're going to have to figure how they deal with Justin Nolan. He's making too many yards. Another, another set of six. Emmanuel Wayne drives it in. 65 degrees. There you go, normal wear. Normal wear for Doncaster on a wet Monday night, I tell you. Halloween. Pushed him over. You're going to give a penalty away, make sure you do. Yeah, yeah, make sure exactly you do put a shot on it. Exactly my thoughts. Emmanuel Wayne drives it in. Edwin Ipape, four to his left, but more to his right. And that's the way he's got to go now. Spins it out to Labour. They're making numbers on that right-hand side or attempting to. Nenny McDonald is going to take some grappling and holding as he pushes. Good thing Wells players are there. Basically, six more tackles. And Wellington Albert will lead the charge. There'll be some sore bodies amongst those Wells players from this World Cup already. And they're going to get sorer as the night goes on. Here comes Lamb. The breaking defeat against the Cook Isles. The fact that they touched, pushed Tonga so far. The two tries they conceded just before. Restart here for Papua New Guinea. Yeah, you, know, you, you just can't do that. It's a poor pressure on the catcher. Too easy. And look where they are. All... Bailey Antrobus amongst those to get the telling touch in, lay, lay book. now it's with Lamb, just trying to burst through the middle again here, still got tackles in the bag, two to go here for PNG, Lachlan Lamb looking to weave a bit of magic again, Johnston, he's a threat, 30, Lamb is going to kick it, it's a greasy ball that hangs high in the air, there's a scramble, well, Looking forward to see them in the top flight next year. I think it just a little bit longer. I think we would have seen Wales first try. Oh, these are fantastic conditions for rugby league, aren't they? <laughs> Brilliant conditions. Pouring down. You can hear it hammering on the roof now. That's how hard the rain is. Oh, it's on. Good. Well, they're serving up some great entertainment week. here because this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic from Jimmy Nutlick. The winger saw a gap for El Abaco and Jimmy Nutlick. His second international appearance. Papua New Guinea, 16. Just identifying those tired players and a player like this, too quick. How fast is he? Fast enough. Yeah, that was just once he broke the first line, there was no catching him. Between two, two tired forwards, quick tap, and he's away. There's no one catching him. He was, he was dancing through the raindrops there, wasn't he? Terrific stuff. I think he enjoyed that much. You've got to... Do you squeeze your line in and offer them the, the outside? Yeah, that was just poor defence, to be honest. You know, the two pro forwards, it, it, pace caught them out a little bit. They were grasping at thin air. And then once he broke the first line, unfortunately, no chance of standing full back. And uh, John's identified... John Keir's identified that. Welsh head coach. Made his swaps. Fresh legs are on there now. Reese Martin with this conversion attempt and it's his third success of the night Eight still glowing after this moment that's a fantastic try it's an absolutely fantastic try we've, uh, we've seen so the welsh their dreams are sodden at the moment their hearts are breaking but can they show the character to at least get back into this game they haven't won a world cup match for such a long time referees warned them you know gonna be cleaner in the rack unfortunately they're not listening and they get an easy yardage 22 years back to 2000 i think jonathan davis was almost still playing no. yeah, the welsh last one again on this stage reese martin just solidly in Pape, a dummy half waiting patiently to deliver back towards the middle again and alec and taken on again Simbican, who's on the field from the interchange bench is Lachlan Lamb, who's uh, having a little wander there to see what he might discover. It's Nene McDonald, who's left the ball behind and dropped on Can, led by Will Evans. Lena, keep up with the play, the ball's wheels are it's so quick. Always on the front foot. Simbican from the Redcliffe Dolphins. Jeremiah Simbican wants to get up and play it. Ipape 
will take it on. Dan Russell is also uh, on for the interchange bench. Oh. It's a penalty. Ball steal. Too obvious at the moment. They're just struggling with the speed of Papua New Guinea's play the balls. What happens then? You're just struggling. You're just trying to hold on. That's when you start putting your hands in the right. Looking to deliver. Back on the inside for Russell and Lamb. And Lamb goes further left to Potts. And this time there's no way through for Nixon Potts. And Papi goes back towards Russell. And he's going to get there. They lead now. They are putting on a show here. It'll be, a, it'll be a tougher game than they've had so far. England, there's the penalty once again. Feed the position. I think it's on Russell. So he comes up. You know, it's a good line and he just stretches over. Simple try, not enough line speed there, but they're out on their feet at the moment, whereas the, sp the, the speed of the play of the balls, they just cannot cope. And they had great shape to play just before that. The quality of Lamb and Labour. Rhys Martin just settling again. He's looked pretty good with the boots so far tonight, hasn't he? Despite the slippery conditions, and over it goes again. 24 points. You know, I think they're going to be classic games. So Fossard gets the kick away. We are enjoying the show that Papua New Guinea are putting on here tonight. Playing with a touch of class. Ipapi. From that initial drive, will pick up and look left again. They've got a bit of depth in this Papua New Guinean squad as well. Some star yeah, players go. sprinkled in amongst some real endeavor. Simbikan picks up and goes left. Here's Nixon Putts with a good offload. Taken on again by Alec. They just keep moving, they keep flowing. It's with labor and good hands, but they're not good hands. The ball's gone to ground. Easy take for the Papua New Guineans. And because it's a, a tap restart, they can get on with it as quickly as they can. And they are suddenly attacking from a defensive position. Nene McDonald eventually tackled, but on the halfway line, and they've got another six tackles to go. Yeah, that's smart play for Nene McDonald. He went back, secured the ball in goal, and then run straight up and got the quick tap, a penalty, a quick tap. And that's everything that they want. That great set by Wales, and then now on the back foot once again. Again, it's poor execution on the kick. That's all it is. It gives them opportunity on the front foot, and here they are once again. There's Ty put down the winger from the right hand side, and then smash down the middle. Papua New Guinea take it. Oh, Lachlan Lamb, good, good carry into the line. Nixon puts. Here's gone away. Here's Ralph. Ralph now across the line, a straightforward effort from Fleming again. All guts and determination, but met by that irresistible force of the Papua New Guinean defence. It's left, it's high, is it? On holds. Great, great defence, good line speed. Fossard again. Work back on the inside, Connor Davis. Well, they're on the last again here, they're on the last, Fossard. Flicks it back to Ralph. Ralph, little kick into the goal there. It's spilled. It's offside. It's a penalty of the least here. Picking up how many, how many tackles have they had on this Papua New Guinean line? Driven in by Chester Butler. Butler trying to force his way over. Just held up short. Fossard now comes out next. It's with Ralph. They've got a bit of room on this right-hand side. Oh, my word. My word. Well, they saw daylight and suddenly went all dark again. Because Jimmy Novak was there with that big shoulder. Yeah, too early in the tag. I've got to come in, uh, come in from the touchline. Once he's caught there, he has absolutely oh. no chance. That's a lonely place to be, I can tell you there. Carl Evans there. You're just an old coming across. Nutlick. He's got no room. There's no wide. That means holding the defence. Carl Evans would have seen all that in slow motion, wouldn't he? Yeah. There's the, the big front. Specimen is Carl Evans. Yeah, he is. He's good. But, you know... Um, yeah, we, we weren't coming here to, to turn up aggressively and play our style of footy, but just got to fix up a few uh, errors there so we're building a bit more pressure, but um, yeah, we're playing some good footy. Is it all about discipline now, building the combinations with one eye on the quarterfinal? Yeah, definitely, mate. We just need to stick to our game plan. Uh, I've been speaking it all week that these guys will turn up no matter what, and um, we just got to hold the ball and build pressure. Thanks, Reese. And Dave Woods. Well, once more to the breach for the last year. And the Dragons roar a little in this second half, produce a little bit of flame. 
to just end this tournament with something to remember or does it carry on being a Papua New Guinean carnival here? They have played so well in building up that 24-0 lead. And we are so excited because it feels like the World Cup starts from tomorrow. We've, we've had the men's group games and there's been some one-sided matches. There's been some memorable games as well. But tomorrow the Women's World Cup kicks off and then the wheelchair and then the quarterfinals at the weekend. It is uh, delicious. So mouth-watering. But we've got 40 minutes here to enjoy before we get on to that. In Pape Ada Dummy Half. Papua New Guinea looking to drive forward again. Simbican will climb to his feet and play it. Here comes Labour. Labour gets the kick away. Bit of kick pressure on him from Fossard. Oh, that's a play because I think uh, David Johnson is rather wet and betrayed at the moment. As, uh, oh, hang on. Before we do, let's just watch Papua New Guinea trying to launch another attack here. Lenny McDonald. Surrender! So let's watch this play out here because PNG could be poised. They've got six tackles to have a go. Dan Russell driving it in. Into dummy half goes Ipape again. Lining up on that left-hand side. Lamb drops it back on the inside. Potts with the effort. Welsh with the response. Ipape delivering again another big burst of energy it's over the line as he got it down now he's held up so here they come again Laybutt Martin he's lost the ball Wales have it back stolen again another penalty another penalty pressure's mounting it's a tough one there because yeah, you're taught to lock the ball up tackle there no sorry so Papua New Guinea setting up base camp here as they look to climb another mountain and get themselves another try. It's into the hands of Johnston. Good tackle, but that that has been lost. They need every ounce to get themselves through the rest of this game. Here's Olam, and he's going to be dragged down just short. Gets up and plays. Here comes another wave of attack. Papi. Makes himself a fairly easy target for those Welsh defenders, and that's a little bit of a defensive win for Wales, but it doesn't count for much because Papua New Guinea come back again. Labutt trying to put the footwork on. They're not buying it. They're not buying it. In with the tackles. Ipape switching left again. Big effort from Simbikin. Crash to the ground, but they're getting closer and closer. Ipape wants more. Spinning it to Labutt. Labutt throws it back to Lamb. Lamb to the fullback Johnston who's in the line. Tackle. Good defensive effort from Kia. Good tackle by Kia. Back it comes to tie. Happy with the defensive effort, particularly on the goal line. And we've seen the evidence of that at the start of this uh, second half. Need to be better with the ball, uh, finish our sets more strongly. Uh, PNG. Can, there's a shot clock which tells them they've only five more seconds to take this, but they're taking as long as they can to get the oxygen back in the lungs because it's another way of Papua New Guinean attack, led by Dan Russell. The whole of this second half so far seems to have been played in this patch of grass. Papua New Guinea haven't yet added to the half-time score, but they're threatening again. Ipape comes back towards the middle, and Alec, Jacob Alec, Ipape, Skids it left, Lamb, and he's going to reach as he no, he's not, no, he's not, oh, he's not far away, but he's not going to be able to put the ball down. Good effort from the Welsh defence. Another big crash, bang, wall of efforts, and this time, and this is uh, this is a great example of, you know, not only are they coming out here to be strong uh, with the ball in hand, but also big, strong defensively as well. Oh, big, that's a that's a big carry. You know, a lot to do, but. Yeah, same as similar to his first try, just dynamic power. But again, you know, on, when he got when he got the turnover to, to get the run the ball out, unfortunately, when you run too high against the Palmer again, you think guys like Nixon Putt. He's he's a short squat type of player, slow center of gravity, but extremely powerful. We traveled to Palmer again when uh, the spear tackle was legal. 
<laughs> let me tell you, that was fun over there. <laughs> the crowns are hard. You were, hard you yeah. were drilled into it. There goes Martin with uh, Stanley Tepin has taken over, and he's doing a good job. I think he had a word at them at, at half time. There'd be no push passes in this opening 10 minutes of the game. And they're going to get their rewards. The simple thing, the fact the public Guinea pack is, is dominant. So why in, in these conditions try and push passes? Have the ball back in the in the Welsh half. You cannot understand how many parties they'll be going on in Papua New Guinea at the moment. And if you are watching us in Papua New Guinea, I hope you're really enjoying this. They, they are so passionate about this sport. So many isolated tribes within the country will walk for days just to find a television set to watch a game when they know their heroes are playing. And so many different languages spoken in that country. I think it's over 200, over 300 languages. I know we talked to Rhys Martin at last World Cup. Kai, an eager collector of that bouncing ball. And uh, runs it back. Look at Alex Johnston. I'm glad he's chosen rugby league because... We've been playing cricket on a night like this, wouldn't he? He runs well, doesn't he? Knocking him behind the ruck every yeah, time. Oh! Wesser Tenzer making his debut tonight in at dummy half. Is Wesser. 30 years of age. It's been a long time coming, but he's pulled on that famous shirt tonight for the very first time. Oh, he'll be loving it. He's jogging over into position. Tenzer again. Here's Labour. Labour, come on, huge, huge. Aikens underneath it, but he's taken it well. Great take that is under pressure. That's a lonely place to be. And all you can see in your peripheral vision is those yellow jumpers coming at you. And the foot, you can, all you can hear is the footsteps, Jeffy. They've not got out of their own half, have they? No way. No, they haven't. second half. Well, they may be now, because they've got a penalty. Very short. There they go. Little dummy shown by Ralph. Ralph with a kick. Oh, Johnston off thing. Here we go. Here we go. But Johnston suddenly finds players in front of him and just as well. It all seems a bit rushed, doesn't it, from Wales' point of view? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It wasn't quite no, Rob, you know, it, it, they've just been beating every department. You've got to try and create something and make a defence, make a mistake, but they just haven't got, you know, those that quick play the ball or the, the guy at half back to do it. 27 minutes to play. Papua New Guinea looking to pile on the pressure to remind you or to tell you if you weren't with us in the first half. They will be playing against England at Wigan. 2.30 kickoff on Saturday afternoon. Play more for Wales than he has. Create something to remember this tournament by. Less There's no full back at all for the first two tackles. Put a long kick and you score. Just in this one you got someone like Nucklick. In your team as well. <laughs> Justin Olam, yeah. you, know, you don't need to kick and chase when you got Justin Olam. Ball in behind, he was able to draw defenders to him, get the penalty. But just look how far they've come with that set. Off the foot. Yeah, a, a kick by Wales, 20, instead of 20 yeah. metres, 10 yeah, metres from the Welsh line. Well, this will be a test for that Welsh defence because Papua New Guinea are in the mood for more points here. Oh, Wessertanza spinning it out at only half. This might be his World Cup tonight right here but that was poor really be lebanon the quarterfinals new zealand against fiji it's hunger time i really admit i'd be nervous if i was running anywhere near just an old moment if you've not seen him playing the melbourne storm he fires out of that gun like a cannon and he absolutely smashes people oh. <laughs> it's a it's to ralph back on the inside comes Lloyd Elliot Keir little flick of the heels can he find a way to run through no he can't it's just a solid wall that moves very alarmingly towards him and puts him down Curtis Davis starts again oh the ball's gone backwards but they keep possession Joe Burke offloads this is Ralph Ralph Papua New Guinea being pushed hither and thither but they keep they keep firm in defense this is the last play Ralph is slow to his feet, it comes with Olds. Olds just slides it through into the in goal area and it's shuffled away. It's another drop yeah, underneath the that's, sticks. That's better from Wales. Hammering down. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was going to be a night when in these conditions we're by, by your kick. Okay. And goes Emmanuel Wayne, the prop forward. Fighting for the blue, sticks to his hands. 
but the worst good defense chase. is good. That's good. Here we are. 11 minutes to play. They've not had it all their own way in this second half. This has been a wonderful response by the Welsh. It's been a great, a, a gritty defensive performance in the second half. They've been under the cosh for a long, long time to start the second half. You know, they've rolled, rolled with it, and now they've had a little bit of possession and field position. Good performance, good second half performance. Well, they're making, making a little bit of progress here. This is Rhys Martin, who's just inside Pernod's half before they push him back. And on the last play, Papua New Guinea will have to look for the kick from Labour. He has to be quick because the, uh, the runners were coming towards him. He's got it away. Evans, Carl Evans has knocked it backwards. Now, what can he turn this into? Not much. Because Tonga might not have had his, uh, his head up someone's backside there in the scrum, didn't he? So, he did. Yeah. Or is he off the field at the moment? Yeah, he's, uh, he's on the bench at the moment. He's done the damage. He's saving the man back. They got a big game on the Windsor at a dummy half. Some of these Papua New Guineans are really enjoying themselves here tonight. No, still are really enjoying themselves here tonight. Set the platform in the first half with a wonderful display snuffed out any Welsh hopes of sneaking through the back door of qualification with that early try from Labour and since then they've been in command, Labour it is now who puts the ball up in the air, Kyle Evans oh it's bounced away from him, they're queuing up here they're queuing up and they're over for another Chase he's hit it perfectly, it's gone now for started spiralling and so Evans there, he would have thought at first, yeah, I got this. And as the ball comes down, it just bends away from yeah. him. Yeah, I just thought where that came down, I think the full box should have been there. Carly Viking should have been there. There's a long way for the winger to come when you've got a, you know, that backfield to cover as well. And I, and What's happened here today is that when they've gone back to basics, just in that set there, just a few great caddies just dominated the midfield, powered over, quick play the ball, you know, put the ball in the air. Try time. So here comes Martin to add another two. And Bologna going down to the touchline. Nine his side well beaten tonight by a terrific Papua New Guinean team. And, and I, have to, I have to give credit to the worst players. You know, from lower divisions, they've had the toughest group with a lot of full time pros in it, and they have done extremely well. Time for the players to compete for it. It's been a gritty performance, though. It's a gritty performance from Wales. Delighted to be, to be through to the quarter finals, first off. Yeah, um, look, we uh, had a, a plan to um, do well in the pool stages and um, get through the quarter finals, so we've done that. So uh, go back and um, work hard um, again and refocus on the quarter finals. But the boys did well today. Important to keep uh, Wales to nil, but the second half, you did go off the boil a little bit, did you? Yeah, well, we um, spoke about that, that at half time. We wanted to keep going, uh, but obviously we defended more sets uh, in the second half there. But look, credit to the boys. They defended um, the trial line there for, um, you know, a, 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 lo a lot of times there. So um, it just means that they're playing for each other, which is a good sign. We think back of some terrific Papua New Guinea players, people like Stanley Jean from all those years ago. But is this current squad the best that Papua New Guinea have had? Yeah, look, we respect the players in the past and the squads in the past, but um, yeah, this this uh, team here, uh, they've got really got a good um, uh, feeling about it, you know, and we've spoken about it, but not uh, too much. We're not, we just want to focus each game, but this yeah, this um, squad is special, and um, hopefully we can um, you know uh, win next week as well. What do you have to do to beat England? Because you have to raise it again, aren't you? Yeah, look, um, obviously, um, you know, England's uh, a really, really good team um, and it'll be a big test for us, but look, we'll go back and um, uh, get ourselves right, um, rest up and um, yeah, just work at things that we need to improve on. Have you got the players to beat England, to trouble them? I think we do. Um, look, I know the players will be up for the challenge and um, yeah, we'll give it everything to um, yeah, get the win. Well done, Stanley. Thank you.